SFRA, or Swept Frequency Response Analysis, has gained popularity here in the last 15 to 20 years in the United States. There's a direct relationship with the internal geometry of the transformer and its RCL network, the resistances, the inductances, and the capacitances. Those combined are, uh, when we test, form a, a fingerprint, per se, of, of the unit. The trace, as it's called, is, serves as a fingerprint, and that basically should never change for the life of that transformer. If something changed in the trace or fingerprint, it's basically something internally has changed in the internal geometry of that transformer. The resistances, the inductances, or the capacitances have changed. That equals movement or damage. Okay? The best time to do a trace, really, is when the transformer is new. It's at the factory, it's just been built, you have the trace performed, you have the fingerprint now of what that unit should look like. And again, it should never change unless something internally has changed. And that could come from shipping damage, uh, electrical faults, anything that would change the internal geometry will change that fingerprint or trace.